Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You are back with Mystery Meerkat, and today we are playing something a little bit different, uh, something a little bit uh, more akin to what I would normally play, um, just to chill out, I guess. Um, and that is Prison Architect, uh, where you basically build your own prison and put all the guards and stuff in it, try and get prisons into the prison, etc., etc. Anyway. I'm going to get straight into this, so we're not going to do any campaign uh, on this. I'm just going to literally create a new prison. Uh, we're going to have fairly conditions. Um, clusters of trees will appear. We don't want fog of war on there because basically it restricts our view and we want to see everything really. I want to see everything for you guys. Uh, it makes it a little bit harder. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into this. I'm not, now, I know there's a lot of new stuff in this like you can play as the warden i believe you can play as a prisoner if you want to uh, i'm gonna also make it a medium or should we make it a large let's make it a large map um just because uh staff needs and everything meaning that i'll need to go and have a staff room and things like that escape plans basically making it that they're more elaborate i believe they will um Try escapes anyway, as far as I'm aware. Um, unlimited funds, we don't want that. Enable tools and cheats. Uh, there's also a load of mutators on this game uh, now. And uh, it's been a long time, to be fair, since I played it. Um, you will have seen that when I was uh, on the screen before uh, with the campaign, it said that I had no, uh, no missions or anything uh, like done on there or anything like that. But that's not actually quite correct. Um... So here we go. So this is our main road that runs into the prison. Um, first and foremost, what we need to do, uh, we need to go into prison population and stop prisons from coming in. So not entirely sure whether we need a warden first for that. We may well do. But uh, yeah, this this is how we start. We just basically got a deliveries area and a garbage area. Um, and you basically plan your prison out from here. So... Uh, this is how I'm going to do this. Uh, pathways, I'm going to have path running up to the front door. Um, three wide path. Now, what we want to do is we want walls going all the way along here. Now, I'm going to basically make a square right now, guys, or a rectangle, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's going to be the door right there. And then what we're going to do is create... Tiny little area. Now what we'll need to do as well is we need a metal detector in here. So perhaps have this longer. Like so. We're going to have another door here. But this is going to be a guard door. And then this is, this is where you get into the main prison area. So we're going to need a reception. Um, which... Sort of make... Oh, wrong one. I need walls for this. I believe I'm going to make that as the reception area. And you're going to have sort of a table along here. Desk here. And then into the holding cell. Which I think I'm going to put the holding cell here. And then we're going to have a door there to get out into this side. I want to make it a single or a double. I don't know. I'll probably just make it single. Um, and we could probably make this a little bit smaller, if I'm honest. Uh, either that, or we'll put another door there to go into the main area of the jail. Uh, that's also going to be blocked off. So, and then we're basically going to make the offices down here. I think would be a good idea. We've got one, two, three. I don't know whether they need to be three by four or not. Well, let's give them three by fours. One, two, four. There we go. And I think we've got another one right there. That's fine. Doors. There's three main, three sort of normal offices, a little reception area, an entrance way where you come in where we could put a metal detector in. So let's start off building some foundations for this. Now, do we go brick or concrete? I think we just go brick. Brick foundations. There we go. We popped that in. So now we need to speed time up. We've got uh, some guys coming in on here. These are the workers. And what they'll do is they'll basically wait for the deliveries to come in and everything. Which is these. And they'll start building the foundations for this for us. Okay, so now we're going to put a normal door 
on the front here. I think eventually what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make this part possibly visitation or something. And then move the officers somewhere else. That's our building done. Now we're going to pause again now so that we can map out all the rest of the walls. We're going to put brick walls in. Now you may notice that I'm leaving gaps where I want the doors and stuff to go. That's simply because if you build walls there, um, it basically means that they will have to dismantle the wall. To then build the doors that you want it to pop in. So let's get some jail doors in here. Uh, a large jail door here. A normal jail door here. This is going to be holding cell. So that's fine. Um, so let's map out some rooms actually. Uh, holding cell. Yeah, I know. That's going to be this place here. That's fine. Um, office. Staff room, reception. His office desk table and a chair. Uh, then I'm going to make these three over here into offices. Ah, you see, these need to be four by four. Okay, that makes a little bit of difficulty. Um, okay, let's... Bear with me a second. I'm going to cancel off a lot of the stuff that I just put down, and we're going to remap this out. Okay, guys, so this is what I've gone for here. Alright, so we've got a double doors at the front. We've got two places for metal detectors to go. We've got double jail doors all the way around. This is the holding cell. And it's rather large um, for a holding cell, if I'm honest. And I'm wondering whether to just sort of minimize that down like that. Make that into a wall. And then we can have that like that instead. Thinking. Um, so let's just get rid of that. This is the only holding cell we have right now. Like that. There we go. We've got our reception area. The offices are now large enough, so that's good. Um, don't really know what we're going to make this into. Now... We also need to do the electrics. And we also need to think about other things like the actual, um, not dorms, I wouldn't call them dorms, but uh, cells, the luxury cells. Oh wow, that is pretty luxury. Solitary cell. See, when I do solitary, I don't even put toilets in there. <laughs> uh, basic cells. Okay, so... Guard cells. Oh, wow, there's like four people in that. Canteen. Right then. That's that done. So we now need to build a canteen. I'm wondering whether just to use the quick build. Kitchen. A big kitchen. I need a kitchen that big. In a canteen. Yeah, fair, fair play. We don't actually need one that big at the moment, though, to be fair. I have an idea. I have an idea. What if we... Our canteen there, and then put our kitchen here. Right, uh, sink. <clears throat> Just need to make sure that the kitchen will actually all fit in. Sink. Oh, well, that's a faux pas on my part. I gotta put a bench down instead of a table. Got the office desk, the chair. We've got filing cabinet and it is four by four, so what are you on about? Oh. 
And we also need to sort the uh, old in cell out. Uh, kitchen objects. We need a cooker and a fridge in here. We need to get some doors on. Staff door needs to go there. We also need some normal doors. Here we go. Like so. Get rid of that planning part. Right now for the rest of the planning. You see, these are 4x4. Four four. I don't understand why this is not working the way that it should be, but there we go. Um, and possibly put staff door there, actually. Pause this a second. Staff door there. That encloses this area off, that's what I'm thinking. Um, Have another office here. Uh, so build these walls. Another large jail door on here for added security. And now we can start building uh, basic cells. I'll do for now. What I'm thinking about doing is making this reception room a little bit smaller. Right, so I've taken a um, a jump back, guys. Um, simply because I kind of forgot to save enough money to buy uh, to, you know, get a warden, which is really stupid of me. Um, now, we jump back to this part where we're just building the canteen area. And what I want to do right now is make this reception area a little bit smaller. So we're just going to clear this indoor area here. That can stay where it is for now. This can stay where it is. Uh, let's get rid of that. We don't need that for the planning. Let's just do that really quickly. Right. And now I want to build a brick wall there. I'm going to basically see if we can rectify this office situation. Alright, so that's it. That's, that's fixed the problem for those. So that's good. Uh, we wanted to put a staff door in here. So they've got easy access to this area. We need to complete the holding cell before we start doing the rest of the prison because we discovered a problem with it at the moment. Now we are going to go with the same basic design as what we did before. This is basically going to be a door, staff door. So get that in. Now the reason why I've done it like this is simply because we need the space for showers. Do that really quickly. And then this is going to be the first cell block. Right, so let's get some staff in here. Let's get the warden in. For a start. He's got an office. 
me some cards. Now, first and foremost, I'm just going to start off with three. Okay, my prison's pretty much ready to go. Apart from the fact that it doesn't have power. But we can sort that out. That's not a problem. And we also need to finish this cell. So let's get some toilets in here. And all go together. I'm going to get some benches. Grants, here we go. These are the two easiest ones to do, so we're going to do that. Uh, intake. We're going to take all available prisoners, which means that we get eight new prisoners in literally ten hours. Which is decent, so we'll do that. Um, now you can see that it shows these objectives on this side, which is awesome. And what we also need to sort out now is the power situation. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure where to put it really. See whether that makes it or not. Would make it a lot more accessible at least. Right. Next thing. Minimum size five by five. Oh well that's that's easily fixed. Um quick wall. Like so. Clear under area. So Never do that. So you can see these guys coming in the prison now. I'm just going to slow the time down simply because we don't want them um, getting the wrong idea about this place. So they're just taking him to the holding cell now. Um. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to be quick building on basic cells. Get four in a row on here. There we go. I think that'll just about do it. So let's get some walls in on these guys. Oh no, they've got brick walls already on them. So that's fine. Um... And then we're going to put a little shower area in here, so let's get there's the shower heads, there we go. Put some drains in, there we are. I'm going to make that the shower. Right, so I think that is it for the basics. Um, you need to take that electrical cable a bit further up. Do that. Everything else seems to be working out nicely. Right, so now all these guys need water. So let's go into the utilities. Let's have a look what we can do. Put that there. And there. I don't know whether this is going to extend long enough to do that, but we'll see. Um, do it like that for now. So as you can see, we've now, now got a nice little prison. I don't know why this solitary... Oh, it needs solitary confinement, but we've got no solitary cells right now. So, um, maybe put some of those in. Actually, instead of having 13 cells, why don't I clear that and put some solitary in there? Yeah, you can have two solitary cells in there for the same, sp same space as a normal cell, so let's just do that. Speed up time a little bit. Canteen seems to be working out fine. Um... I don't know whether they start taking them to their cells yet, to be honest. I don't think they have. A 
solitaries are in. Now we need to go to the intake. Uh, how many have we got? We've got eight. We can have four more. We'll close that. We'll take four more people for now. Um, right, there we go. Everything's done. So now what we need to do is fence off. This. With it being a perim perimeter wall, it should be harder to get in and out of, um, is my thinking there. So I've just done that. Um, right. I think we're pretty much done. We need to now look at what we have here. So we need to build a yard. Uh, hire at least two cooks, which is easy. Uh, unlock finance through bureaucracy. Let's do that. Uh, we also want security health and maintenance so let's get all those cracking and uh, we need to hire an accountant we've already got the office for it that's fine um okay we need to pop a pipe on there there we go uh oh i don't think i've actually hired any cooks so let's hire two of them really quickly my fault we seem to be doing alright with three guards at the moment. Uh, usually have one patrolling, one letting people in and everything like that, and then another one watching the people. So we're not doing too bad. Oops, just knocked my mouse there while I was trying to have a drink. Um, so we're not doing uh, not doing too bad uh, here at the moment, guys. Um, I'm going to look at changing some of the flaws in this place and um we need to be thinking about changing where the canteen and the kitchen are ideally when we have some more money in um uh, which shouldn't be too long uh once we've done these we just need to build a yard for this one um which is is pretty easy uh let's just do that now actually yard there we go we've got grant completion payments put two jail doors in there so that they can get in and out. Our accountant, that's easy, easily done. Pop her in there. There we are. That, so we've got 5,000 for that. Uh, we need to build a staff room. Alright, let's have a look at what other grants we've got. Cell block A. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15, that's fine. Inmate health and well-being. Prison maintenance, visitation rights, security procedure, certification. Reform through education in initiative, staff well-being initiative, short-term investment and long-term investment. Let's do short-term investment and we'll do the long-term investment afterwards because that just gives us money. Um, so we've got 32,000 bank balance right now. Um... So I'm going to use that now to extend the office area first and foremost. Um, or should we extend the prisoner block? We should probably extend the prisoner block, let's be honest. But let's lay some foundations down for that. Now, I'm going to just do it from that corner. Yeah, I'm thinking that's not a bad idea. Because like, what I'm thinking is, if we have a centralised yard... So, let's just get rid of all this. 10 by 10 yard, right? And then we can build the actual prison around that, is what I'm thinking. And this is basically going to be my first wing, I think. Um... Might end up like sort of moving these around a little bit at some point. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Then what I'm thinking is if we create a common room and everything in here, have the exits to the yard like here and here. Probably work out quite well. Right, guys. So this is what we're doing. Okay, we're going to clear 
clear all of this out. We're going to have the cells down the end of these walls. Uh, the canteen staying where it is for now. For now. I'll probably move the canteen to this area at some point, maybe. I might do that now. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I'm just waiting for these guys to build all these new cells for me, basically. Um, taking a while. We've got quite a few people in holding cells at the moment. Because of the fact that we've got to wait for this. So... We're only at 6,000 bank balance right now as well. There we go, we've got 20,000 for that. Waiting for the uh, short term investment funds, so let's see what else we've got here. Uh, maintenance, visitation rights. Right, so we're just waiting for these guys to do do the rest of this now. Um, and then I'm going to change things around a little bit, uh, simply because we need to unlock cleaning the stuff. Uh, cleaning, there we go. Do that. We've got health already, which is good. I uh, don't want education, land expansion, no. Extra grant and bank loans, that's what we need. Um, we need to hire a foreman. What about that? So let's hire him and put him in an office. Okay, guys. So this is coming on quite nicely. We've not had no rioting. Um, I suppose in a fashion is decent. Um, we've got to obviously create a health area. We've got some people come in the prison... We've got 24 out of 26 in the prison now, so let's have a look at the intake. We can only take in another two people. So, take him two normal risks. There we go. Right. Uh, unlock cleaning through bureaucracy, which we've done. Unlock groundskeeping through bureaucracy. And hire at least two janitors and hire a gardener. Hire a gardener. Yep, that's that one done. Uh, let's have a look what else we've got. Inmate health and well-being, visitation rights. I think I'm going to do visitation rights next, actually. Because we can build that off the back of these offices if I do it smart. Uh, if we change the offices or orientation and we have the offices going this way instead, um, then we can have visitation rights here with a a door that people can just go through. Those. Um, not sure. I've not thought about how I'm going to do that yet, but let's do inmate health and well-being first. So we do need to create. Doctor's sort of area. That's going to be the kitchen. Look at all the guys in the shower. Wow. Um, I'm going to make this the new shower area. We've got 26 people in their cells. Uh, if we do... I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I think we might need some new staff. Oh, let's slow this down a bit now. So, what we've got now, guys, as you can see, we started off quite simple. And then we've basically built it into what I'm going to effectively make it into eventually. Now, the yard in the middle here, um, the reason why I've done it in that fashion is because then all of these guys are going to have access to the yard. We've got a common room, a kitchen. Uh, we need to create a health area, um, which... Once I get rid of this canteen in this kitchen down here, this is probably going to be where I'm going to put that. Uh, extend this area so that it's going to become a visitation centre because we can put a jail door on here so that people can get in and out uh, of that area. Um, this is all going to change. Uh, the, the reception bit and everything is all going to change. I think I'll, the holding cell will, st cell will stay the same. I'll probably bring this wall back out where it was 
previously um, just to make it so sort of symmetrical um, and then we'll just go from there really guys and see where we where we are after I've done that um, but yeah it's looking good so far let's, uh, let's carry on and get this uh, kitchen sink done we've got 25 out of 31 um, why are they unable to be assigned to a cell I don't understand that but anyway uh, let's get the pipes in Okay, so that's our common room done. Put some uh, weights benches outside as well. I don't really know what, uh, what else you can put outside. Can we put phone booths outside? Oh yeah, we can. Put some phone booths in the yard. Uh, we put some benches outside as well. No, yeah, why not? There we go. Just starting to get that little bit of uh, recreational uh, stuff around, so that the, you know, the actual prisoners aren't going to riot. I guess. Uh, let's clear all of this area now. Okay, so we need to build a medical ward, hire at least two doctors, and hire a psychologist, which requires an office, which we've already got. We've got one office left. Um, this is the one that I'm going to do next, because once we've cleared this area, we should have enough space in here to do the room that we need. Um, right then, guys. So, this is basically how we're looking so far. Um, ooh, grant completion payment. Nice. That was the long-term investment, uh, the short-term investment. Uh, maybe go for the long-term investment this time. Oh, we can actually have another one as well, can't we? So, let's do visitation rights at the same time. We can now have three of those. So, we've got the infirmary. Um, we need to hire... Not a chief. We need to hire a doctor for a start. We need two doctors. Hire a psychologist. Which, I think we need to actually unlock psychology. Don't we? Yeah. Doesn't tell you that, but we'll do it now. Okay. So... I think we've pretty much got everything covered. Right, that should do it. I know we've had to get rid of all the officers and stuff while we do this, guys, but it is worth what I'm trying to attempt here. At least. Right, I think I've got that all right. Uh, just need to change some of these into offices. Where is the offices? There we go. Now I also want to do up two of these bad boys down. And that is pretty much. We still need to hire a psychologist. God damn it. There you go. Psychologists. There we go. Alright, so that's that done. And um, that's pretty much that bit done. Security procedure certification. A common pitfall at new prisons are security lapses due to the inexperience of the staff with the facility. Ensure we have no early mishaps that might hurt our record in the future by increasing security, excuse me, to an acceptable level. Hire a security chief. Hire 10 guards. Unlock patrols through bureaucracy. Assign 3 guards to patrol routes. It's actually quite easy. Uh, acclimatization and engagement. Assign three uh, prison workers to work in the laundry kitchen and cleaning cupboard. Right, okay. I'm going to do the staff well-being initiative, which is basically building a, a staff room, effectively. So I'm going to do that. Uh, our visitation's done. Our parole is done. Alright guys, so this is coming on really nicely. Uh, now, I have been recording this for quite some time, and I've got to uh, obviously get this down to about a half an hour episode. Uh, the yard looks nice now as well. Um, so, once I've done the staff room, which I need a wide sofa and a drinking machine in there, I think I'm going to leave this episode where it is for now. Um, yeah, I think that's everything for now, guys. 
So our prison's becoming a nice little place. We've got a lovely staff room going on. Um, we've done a lot of the early ones on here. So we've done basic detention center, uh, which is basically turning an empty field into a functioning prison. Uh, we've done the administration center, which is building up the office blocks and everything like that. We've got cell block A done, inmate health and well-being, prison maintenance, visit visitation rights, staff well-being initiative, and short-term investment. We've done all of those today. Um, now, I've been recording this for nearly two hours just to create this little prison. Um, obviously, I've been sort of trying to make it uh, a little bit better for you guys. Um, I will be probably editing out uh, quite a lot of the waiting uh, for them to build stuff and things like that. Um, but generally, it's a really, really good little game. Um, I, if you've never played it before and you do like simulation games or strategy games or anything of, of that sort of sort, um, it's something that I would 100% recommend having a look into um, because it is such fun to play. Um, there are other conditions you can have for it, uh, like uh, you can basically make it so that um, there are sort of special things that pop up, you know, like events and things like that. Um, you can also make it a lot harder uh, for yourself uh, with the mutators on the game. Um, which is really, really cool. I really like how they've done that. And um, they always said that they were going to sort of add a lot of variation uh, into the game. And that's that's pretty much what they've done, in my opinion. I, I do think that they've done really well with this. And uh, I really do enjoy playing it. I hope that you have enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed building this small little slice, this small little prison for you. Um, if you want me to, I can most likely get this up to maximum security and uh, just let me know in the comments whether you've enjoyed the episode whether you want me to sort of uh, you know play some more of this for you to have a look into um like i say it is one of my favorite games so i have no qualms at all in doing that for you guys anyway with that all being said until the next time peace out